there is way more than photography. You know, you just it's really hard to it's, it's such a you know there's costumes there's performances there's script there's actors there's production design all this amounts to capturing the the world and and it's, it's there's also a great juxtaposition from like very opulent wealth to to the way she came from i mean she wasn't coming from a poor family but completely different class social class so there's a bit of that and then then you have opulence we went to uh, Italian Alps, and so that's really beautiful. Then we shot this beautiful house in Lake Como, which is uh, Paolo uh, Al Pacino's place. Really spectacular. I mean, locations were spectacular. So just you know, shooting in the great light and don't mess. With it. You just don't have to do much. It's it's there. You know. I always believed the photography should be just very observant and not imposing. Garcinelle was snow, so there was. When we scouted, it was beautiful, it was plenty of snow. Of course, then temperatures went up and everything started melting. But still, all the mountain slope stuff, there was real snow. But the roads, we had to we had to snow up a little bit. We had to do a little bit of artificial snow. Which, for, And also, there's a beautiful scene when she leaves, when we, when the snow is falling. And, and, uh, and some of it was fake and some of it was real. Quite amazing. Yeah. Arthur has a phenomenal knowledge of, you know, architecture and history and always does his homework very specific about period about what stuff should look like and stuff, you know, architecture wise car cars detail and stuff you know and then janti comes in with her clothes with i think the best costume designer i've ever worked with and exceptional she can just do 14th century france and next day you have custom made suits for all you know, glamorous suits for all actors and stuff and and dresses for for for, for lady gaga the great thing about ridley is that he is also a very visual person and he understands the lighting so you basically light a light environment and and you set the thing up the way that you know if somebody's still light it's okay you know but when it matters, then there's a close-up. Then you see her eye, or her two eyes. And so it's it's just understanding how this scene evolves, you know. And there's always like a couple silhouettes, beautiful atmospheric shots, and and then when you go into the story, then you just it's just how you pl pl place actors and stuff, and 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 it's great with him because as much as he allows them to do what they actors to do what they want to do he also is very conscious you where to put them so also works for the light you know so it's 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 helpful it's a style of telling the story you know and sometimes you have to stop it sometimes sometimes and he knows that too sometimes you just stop you say okay now it, this is it now this is going to be one shot in the story and you just do one shot you know you have all those cameras so okay forget it guys just one and that's okay too but if you establish a four camera shoot as a normal way of making movies, then those single cameras, the steady cameras or cranes, they become just like special, you know? They become even more powerful.